How's it going today, guys? You know, I'm just getting ready to go ahead and, and sharpen my chainsaw. And I wanted to share with you the most game-changing revelation I've had in chainsaw sharpening yet. You know, I've been steadily making more progress towards learning the right way to do it. And last week I was watching a video by, and I want to get this right, tips from a shipwright with master shipwright, I'm going to say Louis S. And he uh, put up one of the, the top three uh, chainsaw sharpening videos I've ever seen. And if you look in the description of this video, I'll go ahead and put a link uh, to his video. And then there's one other video that I really like about chainsaw sharpening, uh, which I'll also put uh, down in the description. But what he was explaining was um, how what he uses to, to sharpen his saw, and guys, it's so simple, it's so simple is he uses a pair of, of magnifying glasses to sharpen. So he's a little bit older than me. So what he actually did is he took two pair of magnifying glasses and put them together. But, uh, you know, I watched the video and I figured it can't hurt, let's give it a shot. So I ordered a pair of these, these are by Elvex. And I'll put a link to um, a blog post I'm going to write about this, and I can, I can tell you which ones I bought. But, um, so these are two times 200% magnification, and the magnification with these glasses on, um, you know, everything's twice, twice as big, right? But if you're filing the chainsaw with these glasses on, or if you're sharpening pruning shears, or sharpening an axe, or trying to read an aspirin bottle. I mean, that print is so small. Um, with these guys on, you can see so much more. I was sharpening the depth gauges on my saw, and usually I can tell by the shine if I got them, but with these guys on, I can actually tell whether my file is at an angle or flat on the top of the depth gauges. It's just a total game changer. I have, back in the day, I, I got these little glass holders, uh, for my guys. So what I do is I just put this pair of glasses in my little case here and put it in my chainsaw box. It goes with me everywhere. And I will be buying at least two more pair of these. I'll keep one in my dump truck so when I sharpen my pruners I have one. And I'll also keep one in my, um, my garage so when I'm sharpening my axe or whatever else I sharpen, uh, I'll have one of these as well. Can you see like right, right in here, there's like a circle on these and that's where the magnifying part is. And they're, they're normal safety glasses. I mean, you know, the camera looks so much bigger now. Um, but what happens is, is anything that's like about 18 inches, about a foot to 18 inches in front of your face is, is huge. And then the farther away you get, things get blurry. So when you got these on, you really don't want to be walking around. I feel sick. I feel like I just got off one of those spinny amusement park rides if I leave them on and I try to focus far away. But uh, guys, just get yourself a pair of these. I don't care if you're hand filing, if you're using uh, that, that jig that I use, uh, used to use to slide across the teeth. Whatever you're doing, if it's detail work, get a pair of these. And just so you know, guys, I don't have a pair of glasses. I, my wife seems to think I need glasses, but when I go to the eye doctor, I still pass the test. Um, but these guys are just a game changer because you can see everything. Right now, I just want to take it and I'm going to see if I can hold these over the saw with the, with the video camera showing and kind of uh, show you the difference. And it's just, uh, it's just amazing, guys. You can easily uh, double your productivity when sharpening chainsaws or anything. It's just a really really great idea. There's going to be a link to a blog post I write somewhere around here. Go ahead and click on that. And guys, don't hesitate. Just, just try it out. And trust me, you're going to like it. Let's open it up and, and see what we have inside. Uh, the first thing I have is this tool here. And this is what you're going to be using whenever you need to um, take the bar off. It's got, uh, it's got the right size wrench for the bar. And it's also got the size for uh, the spark plug as well. And I know there's a name for this tool, but I can't remember it. Uh, for the O20, what I end up using is this ratchet right here. This is the ratchet that I know is the right size for the, uh, the nut on the O20. I've got this brush here. This brush is very nice to clean off the saw 
or if there's ever a lot of dirt and dust on the air filter, uh, I'll use this guy here to go ahead and clean off the air filter.